even after they get arrested and charged they still are very delusional about the amount of time that they're facing and once they get convicted they are then delusional about the amount of time that they actually have to do everybody expects folks from chicago to all be the same everybody is not gonna go about it like king von did everybody not gonna fight everybody not gonna karate jump off of a table to get to one everybody is not going to do that <laughs> and honestly it takes a different breed of a person to want to fight and to want to too that's a crazy mother So we are gathered here today, and if I keep saying that in the next few videos, oh well, it's stuck in my head. Um, I might want to get ordained to marry some folk. I don't know. Today, we will be talking about Rondo number nine. I got to get this off my chest, okay? So if y'all haven't seen, or y'all don't know these people, I'm going to give you a brief synopsis on who these people is what they done did where they at now what they got convicted of you feel what i'm saying we gonna go through that real quick he's a rapper and i i was gonna say a former rapper but i feel like that's too harsh you know what i'm saying he is a rapper from chicago and he came up in the same era as g herbo la capone lil dirk this goes on and on. He was in that era. L.A. Capone was best friends, good friends, brothers like with Lil Durk, Rondo, Tay 600. So he was on that side. Well, unfortunately, L.A. Capone got killed one night after he was leaving the studio. A lot of people believed that he was set up. L.A. Capone was very, very young. I mean, all of them were. You feel me? But I feel like he was one of the youngest. Him not surviving, like it engulfed the flames. Like it was already a fire, you know? It was already a fire. They were already beefing with each other over their fallen soldiers. I ain't saying that's right, but I'm saying that's what they did, okay? So in revenge and retaliation, whatever you want to call it, Rondo and Cide get down on the, the driver kills him one of them dropped a phone at the scene javon boyd was gunned down on february 22nd 2014 he was working his second job as a taxi driver and was waiting for a passenger when he was approached by two individuals they asked 28 year old javon boyd if he was from the area and then opened fire it was rumored that he Javon Boyd was supposed to be picking up L.A. Capone the night of his murder, but that ended up not being true. Javon Boyd was an innocent civilian that had nothing to do with the Chirac streets. On top of one of them dropping their phone at the scene of the crime, there was also surveillance footage of this murder and it showed colors that were very distinct with clothing that matched what Rondo was wearing on Instagram. Oh yeah, fingerprints too. We cannot forget about fingerprints was left on Javon Boyd's car. Both of them took it to trial. C-Day was sentenced to 38 years and Rondo number nine got 39 years in prison. It's not that they didn't show remorse, but something that I noticed about a lot of young men is even after they get arrested and charged, they still are very delusional about the amount of time that they're facing. And then once they get convicted, they are then delusional about the amount of time that they actually have to do. This is not just a robbery. Nobody was hurt. Um, just some money was took and that that's gonna be hella years too but at the same time like it'd be a delusion that's just like are you kidding me right now like y'all allegedly 
committed a murder. And then when you're convicted, y'all committed a murder. I can clearly not say allegedly anymore. It's it's sad. Even Tay K. Tay K has this, or I mean, I think he's starting to get it. You feel me? I think he's starting to get it, but Tay K has this delusional mindset of that he is coming home and he's not coming home for a long time and I know that sometimes you gotta tell yourself certain things to make you feel better to make yourself feel better but it's a lie you feel me a lie is a lie and um if you say it enough times you'll believe it but this specific clip that came out was Rondo sitting down at the table, as y'all can see, sitting down at the table, and then, I mean, not even 10 feet away, on the same table, is L.A. Capone's killer, chilling. And honestly, he got a little advantage, because he, he not sitting down all the way. He could just hop up, but Rondo is over there. It's embarrassing. It's very embarrassing, and it's making a lot of people say L.A. Capone's death was in vain because Rondo didn't get up and try to kill dude, right? I couldn't believe my eyes, to be honest with you. Like, this is Rondo, the Rondo number nine, and he didn't choose violence right now? But something that you have to take note of is a lot of these guys are shooters. A lot of these guys are shooters. They are not fighters at all. Unless they truly, truly have to. And that's why it's like everybody expects folks from Chicago to all be the same. Everybody is not going to go about it like King Von did. Everybody not going to fight. Everybody not going to karate and jump off of a table to get to a nigga. Everybody is not going to do that. <laughs> and honestly, it takes a different breed of a person to want to fight and to want to shoot too. That's a crazy mother. But... It was definitely time for Rondo to get down. I don't care what King Yella talking about with that soft ass shit. Listen. And you know what's surprising to me too? Like, okay, so we got the Rondo number nine with such credits to being in the Chirac era, right? And if he can't do nothing, in that motherfucking shit, if he can't do nothing in that pod, if he can't swing when he want to swing, if he can't start some shit or call a nigga a bitch, he ain't got no ranking in that pod. So was the murder of the person that y'all killed worth it? Was that even worth it? That's what I'm saying, because that's what got y'all into this. See, y'all could have took it out on somebody else, or y'all could have just simply healed from this. But y'all chose to take it out on somebody. So Rondo don't have no ranking in this pod. Okay. King Yella said that this happened not even recently. I don't, a lot of the stuff that King Yella said, I don't agree with. I don't care about no politics in this fucker here okay if my partner's killer or my sibling's killer is in the vicinity of me it's going to be an issue it's it's time to go and we seen how a true demon a true killer move king von literally stood side by side shoulder to shoulder of his op, looked him dead in the face, and had other people circling around this motherfucker until King Von popped off on him. So it's a way to go about it, but if you ain't got no ranking, you can't do shit. I don't care what the repercussions is when it's some shit like that involved. Like, and you took it out on somebody that wasn't even his killer. Somebody that didn't have no true loyalty to any one of y'all 
a huge way that you can redeem what you have done. And you took an innocent person's life. Is you can beat the shit out of this guy. And that's who you should have found in the first place. That's why social media is it's a motherfucker because it makes people do things. Like we see from that video that Rondo wasn't on it. But after getting ridiculed, he going to want that smoke. Because now he has a point to prove. You already had a point to prove, partner. So on top of all of y'all lying about Tay 600 being a snitch on y'all, it flipped. And Rondo was the one that was yapping a little too much to the feds. Y'all wanted us to sweep that under the rug, just like y'all wanted us to sweep the evidence under the rug as well. You make your bed and you lay in it, right? But when the opportunity presents itself, it's time to get down. It's time to get down. And truly, honestly, you don't need nobody but you. See, they ain't in there. He not in there with you. And it shouldn't take that, you know? It shouldn't take you having your close partner in here for you to bug up and punch this nigga. And, and I'm sure it'll be a, tr a true learning lesson to Toronto. I mean, they were so quick to scheme and plot on a person that ain't have nothing to do with L.A.'s murder. But when you are faced with the killer, all you can do is, is stare. Like, I'm not going to even say that, you know, L.A. Capone died in vain. I can't say that and i'm saying that because what happened was going to be the outcome for all of them if they didn't move or go to prison it was inevitable for them based on the mess that they created but to keep your stripes in the streets in today's time, you got to move like you being watched. Seriously. Come on now. Because your partners cannot defend that. Your partners cannot defend that. And mind you, like, King Yella, it was so funny because it was just like, you really making, you really sitting up here making excuses for this man. When you know damn well, knowing that you on camera and shit is getting leaked left and right, that this shit is going to hit the net. This shit is going to hit the net. And you shouldn't need nobody to, to put no battery in your back, but that's how a lot of these guys is. And especially the ones that don't fight, but they shoot. All they need is one friend to whisper something in their ear and they just bugging up and starting airing out. That. The sad reality is if they was out on the street and a different opportunity presented itself and Rondo had one of them big ass fucking Iraqi style guns, he would have shot him. No hesitation. Within seconds. Oh, that's such and such. He did that. He did that. And he would have just got down on him. But when it comes to fighting, and it's, it's, it's shocking to me because it's like, I mean, once your environment switches and you go from out in a free world to locked behind bars, I mean, a lot of things change, including how you can hurt somebody. Like, yeah, you can have a shank, you can have this, you can have that, and turn it into a weapon. But your hands have to be the most powerful weapon that you can fucking own. That you can own, that you can buy. Because that's going to be your saving grace. If you don't have no... Like, has he ever fought in there? I don't think so. They would have been 
release shit like that. They're releasing King Von's, some mug shots I ain't even never seen. I just seen one the other day from 2009, and I was like, oh my God. If I was his mother, I would have beat his ass. It wouldn't have been no keep getting arrested and you getting out of Chicago, <laughs> period. Rondo was arrested and charged in 2014. So that was 10 years ago. If he ain't fought not one fight in 10 years, l look, I can look at it on, on, you know, I can flip the coin and look at it on either side because it's like he's really trying to get out right he's trying his best to get out he wants his freedom um and he's been in there consistently for this whole 10 years so that could be why he ain't getting down and shit people can be scared of what you can do on the outside but if you can't apply no type of pressure on the inside it just say a lot about you and in that Chirac era, it was easy for a lot of young black men to gain access to these big ass guns and create an image for themselves and an image that ends up helping convict them. So King Yellow talking about, you feel what I'm saying? I just had to say that because I just watched the video and I'm like, he is really talking really soft. <laughs> like, nobody moves like that. And meanwhile, he got a lot of people laughing at him. And definitely not with him. And if it was a while ago, he missed his opportunity. He missed his opportunity. I don't know, like, if it didn't dawn on him that once this fucker gets moved to a whole nother pod, that's the end of the opportunity unless I got somebody on that side but it still wouldn't be me personally doing it yeah I'm trying to I, I'm really trying to figure this out because